So it seems that Kanye West is coming out of this divorce smooth and sailing and Kylie Jenner is facing some pretty harsh backlash. Hey guys, it's Murad Morali. Hope you guys are doing well today. Back at again with another video. If you haven't subscribed, guys, click that button for daily and consistent content. Head over to my Instagram, my Patreon, my merch, and let's get straight into this video. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Click that button. So we have Kylie Jenner. Let's get straight into this matter of fact. And it seems that she is you know, causing a bit of stir online. She has decided to, take, to make a story and is basically saying, um, in reference to her friend, may God watch over you and protect you. Everyone takes a moment to say a prayer for Sam who got into an accident this past weekend and also swipe up to visit his family's GoFundMe. This has bothered a lot of people. For example, people are saying, um, this has peed me off. She could genuinely donate 100K to him and it wouldn't make a dent in her bank account, but she's asking other people to do it. And it's not like either, it's not like she's asking rich people to do it either. Eat the rich. Um, celebrities sharing GoFundMe news for others to donate to while literally being million, millionaires or billionaires, wishing for a downfall for real. Well, I'm not wishing for anybody's downfall, <laughs> but at the same time, she has a point. But at the same time, for her to be comparing millionaires and billionaires, I don't think people realize the difference, the magnitude of a difference between a millionaire and a billionaire is absolutely insane, guys. Absolutely insane. Kylie Jenner is a billionaire. Almost comes to the point where I don't think even morally you, one can be a billionaire without exploiting other individuals. I'm not saying that Kylie's doing that, but you know that ha I have seen that argument and it, it does make a lot of sense to me. Someone said, um, Kylie Jenner's on IG said swipe up to visit her friends GoFundMe. And someone said, why doesn't she go fund him? I'm dead. Um, exactly. All these celebrities ask us poor folks to fund things that they literally could pay for and it wouldn't make a dent in their pockets. And this is what we call, ladies and gentlemen, capitalism. We have individuals who are extremely wealthy, not just wealthy, extremely wealthy, who can immediately just solve the GoFundMe issue and say, you know what, this is my best friend. If you can write a paragraph about how close you are that person, surely you wouldn't even need to do that. And you would just say, you know what, take 100 grand, let's go, because I've got your back, because I'm that close to you. If I'm that close to you to post you on my stories, I must be that close to you um, as an individual to just pay for it and solve it. So why wouldn't she have done that? Surely she could have asked each one of her sisters to put in a certain amount, which would have solved the issue as well. And perhaps she has other rich friends. Why are you even asking the public who are going through a pandemic, especially in the US, they only have just received their stimulus of $1,400, which is for themselves, which is barely nothing, if you want to be real about that conversation, because it's not. Um, and you're asking all of them to go fund me and support and, you know, send this. And she only donated $5,000. Now, an another side is she donated, you know, which is great. What are you guys donating? But you can't compare somebody who's extremely wealthy and a billionaire to people who are either on stamps, struggling through a pandemic, you know, are hardly getting any support from the government, which they're definitely not in the US. So I feel like what we have here is capitalism. And I do feel like she should be a little more understanding. And it's not just her. A lot of the celebrities have done this. They post GoFundMe's and links and say, fund me, fund me, you know, fund us, please do this. But you and your coin can solve the whole issue. So why are you not coming to the public to ask people who are poorer, you know, due to racism, due to classism and several other issues um, to donate as if you can just solve the problem or your 10 age mates who probably are just as wealthy as you could have all sat down together, solved the issue in less than five minutes. And that's it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I find it to be very weird. Speaking of Kanye West now, he is coming out of the smooth sailing. He has just been announced as the richest, one of the richest men in the US, with now a net worth of nearly, guys, not one, not two, not three, but seven billion dollars. That is what he's coming out with following the Kim Kardashian divorce, guys. And this within itself is insane. According to multiple reports, Kanye West's net worth has skyrocketed again after announcing his clothing company and Yeezy brand is in business with Gap. The 43-year-old rapper is now worth $6.6 billion, which is a significant increase from back in April when Forbes announced he was an officially a billionaire. So he was a billionaire, guys, last April. Now he's, he's tripled his net worth. That in itself is insane. The new Gap collaboration with the Yeezy brand could be worth as much as $1 billion nearly of that total. Wow. As well as this, guys, which I didn't actually know about, but he has over $1 million of assets, 1.7 to be exact, in assets, which include a lot of his interests in Kim Kardashian's skims business. So he has money in that as well, which I think perhaps, you know, Kim might buy him out or that, but I find that to be interesting. I thought that Kanye was broke and Kim was, you know, helping him out financially to him now being way over a billionaire. 6.6 .6 billion. I don't even know. Some of this doesn't even make sense to me sometimes, guys. It really and truly just doesn't. Um, but this is, you know, pretty crazy. The fact that this guy is coming out smooth sailing when it comes to the coin, nothing's going to be dragged out that way. Not that I think Kim would do that because they have children involved. But at the same time, I find that to be, you know, interesting. The guy is coming out smooth sailing and sorted 6.6 .6 .6 billion. 6.6 .6 billion. So Carly could have asked her damn, you know, flipping um, brother-in-law, bro, 
you're, you're not even a, a billion, you're 6.6 billion. Chuck 100,000 my way so we can solve this GoFundMe situation, which is probably 0.00008% of this man's net worth or her net worth or let alone. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's a very interesting argument. And I feel like it's part of the conversation that a lot of people are having now because we as a public are tired of the interest of celebrities. It's become quite mundane. It's, it's become quite boring. The idea of why is this person a celebrity? What importance do they bring? And I feel like this conversation has been emphasized due to the pandemic. You know, we've had so many celebrities who sit there and make songs together and everything to support everybody. And it's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why, why am I so enthralled by you, fascinated by you? I'm not saying that people aren't in love with celebrities now. We don't want to know if somebody walked in. We'd all be going crazy. But at the same time, I do feel like the understanding in the relationship between an audience and a celebrity has been definitely dampened because we look at them for why aren't you doing what you should be doing and you're asking other people for less wealth to do this. And these type of arguments or conversations or theories are now put forward when it comes to something like this. So I find it to be very interesting, guys. I find it to be very interesting. Um, a lot of crazy stuff is also happening in the US today, which I'll probably speak about in a separate video because I feel like it's not for this video. It's just not the same thing. I'm sure you guys will know about what happened and it's a very sad event. Uh, and I will speak about it in another video. I've put out so many videos today. I majority of my videos come out in the evening, I've noticed. I'm just more of a night owl, more of a night person. You won't catch me putting out any video at 9 a.m. in the morning. I, that's just not my kind of taste. It's not what I do. As you guys are aware, I do tend to put out videos around, I don't know, 3 to 10 p.m. GMT time, 3 to 11 p.m. GMT time. That is just the natural trend of what I do. I don't know why I'm talking about this now. Like I haven't been on YouTube since God knows how long, but yeah. Anyways, let me know your thoughts are when it comes to this, guys. I'm talking for very long, nearly seven minutes. Probably the longest video of today. Subscribe, guys. Click that button for daily and consistent content, and I'll catch you guys soon for another video.